Hey, welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red, Nuzlocke, uh, No Man's Game, and all those title cards. Uh, who are you? Are you, uh, you're a bird guy. Like, are you a bird guy or are you a electric type dude or whatever? Just crossing wires and whatnot or being a rocker. I don't know, man. They all kind of look the same. Uh, normally I wouldn't, mm, I shouldn't fight like this either. But I just don't feel like switching out. It'd be fine. It's just a fucking sparrow. What's the sparrow gonna do? It's a fucking be I have a Venusaur. <laughs> I got a Kuma out. I'm not scared. It's not gonna die in, in this hit, though. It's gonna keep leering me, bro. It's gonna keep showing me those little keen eyes of you with your, I don't know, eagle like Pokemon esque ness. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where I'll go with that one. That's right. I had to like manually switch out. I'm pretty sure. I don't know, man. I think I'm. I still think I'm missing like some kind of um, some kind of uh, option for that to happen. I don't know, man. Maybe I, I, I maybe I selected that at the very beginning or something. Because <laughs> that seems weird. It's like, don't you? You should have the option to switch out your Pokemon when you kill another person when he's about to switch something out. I don't know. Whatever's. Uh, yeah, just keep using bite. I mean, Akuma would have been fine. He's got a bunch of bird Pokemon, but they're all super low level. They're just fucking Pidgeys and Sparrows. Probably one of them is going to be a Pharaoh or something. Something like that. But most likely. Oh, oh, oh. Wrong, wrong button. Wrong button yet again. Nope, nope. Just, just more Sparrows. Okay. Water Pulse. Shoot it with a bunch of water beams things. I guess. I don't know what Water Pulse would look like uh, outside of battle. Probably looks like Water Gone or something. The wind turns! Yeah. Turns, you know, turns into your Pokemon dying. Just fucking dying. That's Route 14. This is still Route 13. Cool. Oh, I can't go, no, I can't go back. Because that asshole is still in the way. Alright. Need to use the ants to teach a good uh, move Pokemon. You don't really, but they, yeah, they do help. Sure. More Pidgeys. God, T-Bone would be perfect for the situation. <laughs> Damn it. Man, the way I'm at, the way I'm at the buttons on here is uh, not the not not the best. It's definitely not the best, but it's fine. Cool. Nice. Awesome. Just cutting up, cutting up Pokemon left and right. That's what Akuma does. Just murders them all and have them bleeds out right in front of their trainer's eyes. Awesome. Oh, Pidgeotto. Oh, dude, Pidgeotto looks straight like a like a rocker, like a punk rocker type Pokemon. Just about to start, you know, talking about anti-government stuff, you know, things like that. Yeah, how we can live better. Uh, something something anti and anti flag something something uh, fucking bad religion you know. <laughs> I do love those bands like I don't know that's what it seems like that's what Pidgeot seems like to me. Can't remember what I can't remember what generation it is actually has like the gym actually is like a is like the gym leader is like the front man or front uh was a woman uh it's like the lead is the lead of a punk band. I can't remember what generation it is. I think it's sounds like it sounds like that's something to be in Gen 5. Either Gen 5 or 6, something like that. It's pretty cool though, I like it. And they have like a coughing that's like their best friend or something. It's weird. The coughing's like super into like their punk jams. It's cool. Good stuff. Good stuff. Um I think I might need a super potion on somebody. Super Potion, yeah, I don't know. Uh, Neptune, sure. Why not? You have a lot of health, dude. This guy's got so much. It's great, though. It's great that he has a lot of health. That's that's kind of the reason I want it. One of the, oh, one of the reasons I wanted him. What are you looking at? I'm over in this direction. Certainly not you and your stupid fucking motorcycle that's on the grass. Tearing up the grass. Terrible. Terrible person. 
Uh, razor leaf. It's not going to do that much. Uh, okay. Not bad. That's smog. Is this isn't going to poison me. No, no. I think it has the chance to poison. Yeah. I say it has the chance to poison. It's kind of good practice. Like, Koga's got a... He, he has a coffee and wheezing. He's got a coffee and wheezing, an Arbuck, and Venomoth, I believe, is his lineup. Also, I'm... Uh, last episode, because I was super excited to get that Ditto. I, the more I want to thought about it, like... Ditto's not really that strong. It might be good to use... I don't know, as a shield against somebody. I can't get transformed or whatever. I'm like, okay, that's fine, but nah, nah, it's not that viable, unfortunately. There are better Pokemon out there. There are much better Pokemon out there than Ditto. Ditto's really cool, though. It's a cool Pokemon. I don't mind it at all. But it's more of a, it's like, it's more, it's more used for, like, for breeding and stuff. You know, you just have your, you just have your, uh, your War Turtle or whatever. Just go fuck this blob. <laughs> just hump this blob or have the, they don't hump you and then it, and then it makes an egg somehow. You know, I, I don't know how it works. I don't know, I don't know how Pokemon relations work. It's really weird. It's really weird. Like, you could, you could breed, in this generation, Gen 3, you can breed a Waylord, which is pretty much a, uh, a blue whale with a Skitty. was a little cat Pokemon. Like Meowth. Like, okay, sure. Why not? Because that makes sense. I really hope the Skitty the is the one doing the fucking. Because if the Skitty is the one that gets fucked, um, yeah, uh, it's gonna die. Right, am I seriously missing all these moves? Am I seriously missing all these moves? I mi I missed like 500 moves right there. Like, okay. All right, I'm, talk I'm trying to talk about a giant whale fucking a little cat. All right? Come on, Pokemon. God, that's so weird, dude. Ugh. There is a chance I could run into a Waylord, but I don't think it, I think that chance happens uh, before I get to fight the Elite Four. I think so. I think it's like Seafoam Lyums or something like that. You get to, you, that's when you get the chance to fight it. I'm like, or not the chance to get one. I have to look, I have to look that up. Cause I, so I cause you, you go through, you go through like uh, a couple, um, uh, bat you, you get to fight the Elite Four twice, I believe. You beat him once, and then you go to see. I think you, then you go to like Seafoam Islands or whatever, and then you come back and fight him, fight him at a harder, uh, harder like a higher level or whatever. And I'm like, oh, okay. I mean, that's what we'll try to do. Like, I'm trying. Like, basically, I'll complete the game like in that in that sense. Not really catching Pokemon and doing that stuff. Um, like the legendaries, like the legendary stuff. That's uh, that's for another time. Uh, so I'm not really worried about that. But, you know, I'll try to, you know, want to beat the Elite Four and whatnot. Do all that good stuff. Hey, you. Hey. Uh, Mr. Dude. You're probably also a, um, a, uh, bird Pokemon trainer, dude. My bird Pokemon should be ready for battle. Did you inject him with a bunch of steroids and stuff? I mean, that would definitely make him ready for battle. What's with you guys and Pidgeys? Upgrade it. The Pidgeotos. You'll be much more menacing. I'm still gonna, you know, obliterate you, but, you know, hey, I'm just trying to help you out. Maybe you need to go, you know, free one of your Pidgeys with a Whale Lord and you'll be fine. Get a Pidgey that is the size of a blue whale? Make question mark? I don't know. You assume that's, what, like, how the traits would, would come about, right? Because... Like the Ditto, like or you know whatever. When if like the Whale Lord fucks the Skitty, whatnot, like you get a chance, you, you're gonna get a chance to get like a Skitty or a Whale Lord. That like that's how it works. But like, is the, is the Whale Lord gonna come out like having a tail or something like that? Is Skitty gonna be able to like have lungs or something like that? I mean, you're doing, you are doing breeding. Just, you know, throwing that out there, you are like, like inter, you know, in 
you know, inbreeding, like, the animals here, the Pokemon. There's gotta be some kind of consequence to that, right? I would think so. You can't just breed a cat and a dog together and, like, I'm gonna get a cat out of this. And then, probably not, no. Probably not. You're, you're probably gonna get something very, very weird out of, out of that. Not saying that hasn't been happened before, but I'm like I, I don't think you should do that. I don't think you should do that. That's probably not a good idea. All right, sweet. I mean, we could do that, man. Like, I'm pretty sure people would be fucking animals, like left and right, to try to get like, you know, their powers and stuff, like to grow wings and shit. That'd be awesome. That'd be so fucking cool. Um, I want to fight this guy down here too. I gotta go all the way over here. All the way over here. You fight me. I always go with Burke One. I just I dedicated by itself to them. Is that what is it? Mm. I don't know, that's the right terminology you want to use there, my dude. Yeah. All you do all of you do all of you just get together? Have like a book club Titan night with Pokemon who's like, my Pidgey's better than your Pidgey. Like, come on, man. Like, I have a Pidgeot. I have a Pidgeot. Very easy. Maybe maybe their Pidgeys just like to be Pidgeys. You know, who knows? They might just like to be Pidgeys. I mean, no hate on that, I guess. They want to evolve, they want to evolve. It would be funny if you had, like, this, like a dumb, strong Pidgey. Like that one Bellsprout in... Oh, God, what generation was it? I don't think it was Gen 1. I don't think it was Gen 1. I think it may have been like Gen 3 or something like that. Like, you, you, you can look it up. There was, there was a, a Bellsprout that was in the, the Pokemon competition or whatever. The Pokemon League. I, I don't know if Ash fought it. Ash may have fought it. Um, but it, it was just a Bellsprout that knew a butt ton of like karate, like, like fighting type moves or something like that. It was ridiculous. It could just kick all the ass and just evade... Uh, perfectly, because it's just a tiny little plant. It's weird. It was a weird Pokemon. There it is, Aurora Beam. Hell yeah, man. Yes, I would love to have Aurora Beam right now. Uh, get rid of Sand Attack. Buy Sand Attack. I mm. no, get rid of Quick Attack. Yeah. Yeah, I don't need Quick Attack anymore. Yeah, get rid of Quick Attack. Sand Attack will be, is still helpful. I mean, it's, it's going to get rid of, or it's going to get switched out to something else a uh, little while. Anyway, eventually. That's fine. Out of power! Yeah, you're out of Pidgeys. Yeah, that, that, that kind of sucks. Your career is done. Mm, uh, yeah. Pink. Give him a little spray. Give him a little spray down of healing. Uh, is that all that's out here? What does the sign say? Uh, look. Look to the left of that post. What? Uh, is it to the left of that? What? What? I. What? Look to the left of that post. What the fuck are you talking about? I mean, I just probably means like there was an item right there. Okay. Weird. That's a little weird. I don't know what the fuck. There's. I think there was an item there that already that already that I already got. Okay. Whatever. Um, I think there might be some grass in this area too. 14. Uh, yeah, right here. So I got a couple more trainers to fight here. Uh, yeah, these emails on sale in the drugstore. The teams are, are, aren't really real, but not many of them have HMs. Uh, yeah. I mean, you would assume everybody has HMs because the world is plagued by these tiny little trees. You would assume so. Or maybe their Pokemon could just cut everything down because, you know, they, they, they have logic. Nice. Oh, wow. Oh, I didn't know ice is a super effective against flying. Cool. All right. Hell yeah. It's my rainbow beam. Sweet. Cool. I didn't know that. Wait. He's my rainbow onion rings. Awesome. Wow, a thousand. That's amazing. Oh, boomer. All right. What about you? 
Have you taught your bird Pokemon how to fly? You'll be able to store it, store with it into the sky. I mean, I don't see why you have to teach your Pokemon, your bird Pokemon, how to fly. Like they're already flying. It's like teaching your water Pokemon how to surf. Like, well, it's in the water already. Uh, why? That makes no sense. And but in the Pokemon world, a lot of things don't make sense. There's a lot of questions upon questions that don't really have answers. You only have answers that make sense in, in your head and, and logic, but Pokemon doesn't really use logic, like ever. Whether it's the game or the shows, like they don't really use logic. A Pharaoh, nice. At least this guy's this guy's got a lot of nice Pokemon. Well, not the, not the Sparrow, but a Dodo and a, a Pharaoh, nice. I, lo I love I love Dodrio, man. I, I I have one in my uh in my and uh my Let's Go playthrough. Very good. Very good Pokemon. Shut down in flames! Shut down in flames! We shut down in flames. It's some kind of easy easy song. Isn't Shut Down in Flames an AC DC song? I'm like almost hundred percent sure that's an AC DC song. Shut down in flames! Down, down. Yeah, we shout down in flames. I think I'm getting two songs confused. I'm pretty sure I'm getting two songs confusing. <laughs> Maybe. I think that I'm pretty sure that's an ACDC song. I, I'm fucking adore ACDC. I'm pretty sure. Um. I'm pretty sure that's an actual song. Um, uh, map. Uh, Mike. He's yes, I'm close to Fusion City now, right? Yeah. yeah. I still got the Survivor, uh, Safari Zone left too, you know, where I can catch a bunch of uh, different types of Pokemon. Basically, uh, how the Safari is going to come. The Safari is going to. I'm treating the Safari um, just like I treat. Uh, just like I, I'm going to treat each and every uh, area. Uh, like each route. Like each part of the map in Safari Zone is a new area. That's what, that's what we're going to go for. Which is gonna suck too, because if I um, if I kill them or they run away, like that area's gonna be dead. So Safari's so not gonna be a given, but I'm gonna try to get some cool Pokemon in there. Knock off! <gasps> you knocked off my black glasses, you son of a bitch! Do I not have it anymore? Is it gone forever, or is it just gone in this battle? Oh, I'm gonna be so upset. That's that that can't be right. That can't be right. No way. It's it no. Okay. Okay. It just knocks it off for that battle. It's like no fucking way. It just gets rid of that the I the item. There's no way. Like get out of here. <laughs> that would be so unfair. Like a key item like that that you can only get once. Like fuck out of here. No, that can't be right. All right. Yeah. Farfetch would be cool to have too. It's a cool Pokemon, but I don't need it. I have Pidgeot. I mean, one really the only Pokemon that I'm really looking for in Safari Zone is probably gonna be the tree. Ah. Excuse me, Dratini. Oh god. Oh, all the yawning. Um. Yeah, Dratini or Dragonair would be the ones I, I, I'm gonna look out for. I can't remember where they are. I'll just have to look at. To which which area of water that they are in, um, and just hope for the best that I get that I get one of them. That'd be that'd be good. Uh, I'm gonna fight. I'm gonna be fighting some. Uh, let's get um. Let's get the rock out here, and I'm gonna give him some some water. Let's heal. Let's give him a full heal. Uh, fresh water, please. Pink. Here you go. Here you go, little buddy. Here's a little water. Here's some deer park. Nice. Cool. I'm gonna fight these little biker guys. We ride it here because, because of the wide open spaces. Wide open spaces. Something like that. That's that's a song I can't remember. Who it's by. It's, it's by, by somebody, but I don't remember who. Uh, I got a cry chop. 
Ooh. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, the rock is probably not going to be helpful in this gym. It's probably, well, mm, you know, maybe, yeah, I bet you, uh, I bet you Fred probably be pretty helpful. I think Fred's going to be pretty helpful in this gym, because I'm, I'm thinking flying's just, is, is okay with fighting, uh, fighting poison, poison types. God, ugh, not good for Fred. Uh, Seismitas? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, Science and Tosses, well, yeah, you, you can do that. Which can be helpful. I mean, I mean, these guys are gonna, are all pretty high level, so. They're gonna, they're gonna get hit by Science and Tosses a little bit, I guess. And I, I can't remember what other type moves uh, uh, the Rock is gonna learn. Is it Primeape? I don't know. Ugh. Yeah, yeah, get the Rock out of here. It's probably going to be Fred and Neptune are, the, are going to be the shining stars of this gym. That's kind of was kind of leveling up Neptune a lot, a lot more. They'll probably be the shining stars. I mean, obviously, I don't want the Rock or Akuma to get too far behind. Let's try Ice out. Just normal damage, okay? Because I think Water is also just normal damage. I think water is also just normal damage. Water pulse would be good. I mean, I could confuse this Pokemon. Yeah, like this. He's all, no, he has a muck too. Yeah, yeah. He he has a wheezing, a coughing, and a muck, and a venomoth. He doesn't have an Arbuck. Yeah, yeah. Bite is bite is so good. That's a good move. Cool. Well, if I get a fire type Pokemon, I can get, I can fuck up his his Venomoth. Wipeout! Whoa! <laughs> okay. Um, switch out these two. Bam, bam, and just uh, heal up. Um, or give a give a uh, antidote to the rock. Don't really need to worry about healing them. Um, I, I'll, I'll heal him, though. I'll give him a heal. Oop. <laughs> I meant to heal... Okay, I meant to heal the rock, not Akuma. Because he didn't really need it. There we go. There we go. Okay, cool. Alright, well, I think I'll end it here in the next episode. Uh, what? Come on, come on! Let's go, let's go, let's go! Jeez, like, yo, calm down, man. Like, it's... Life's not a race. Life is not a race. All right, I'll, I'll 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 wreck this guy's shit first. How about that? Like he, this guy just really wanted to just fucking go. So like, all right, I will kill all your Pokemon. Fine, if that's what you want, I will do that for you. I have no problem doing that for you, my dude. Like no problem at all. I am completely okay with murdering each and every Pokemon that you love with all your heart. You're not gonna be able to sleep with them at night anymore and cuddle with them because they'll be dead. <laughs> They're gonna be dead in the water. It looks like he's just eating those. <laughs> it really looks like you're just eating the beam. Ugh, poison's so annoying. It's such an annoying uh, uh effect. Poison Pokemon are good, man. They're good. They're cool Pokemon. I was gonna use one myself, but then Noodle died to a fucking little Diglett. It was awful. I I don't I don't want to risk this either. I don't want to risk it either. I mean I know he's not he doesn't have like self destruct or anything, but he's still poisons and whatnot. So yeah, like that's gonna bring him down to uh to his health. But let's just uh get a little bite. Now I'm on that coughing a little bit. You would think that would poison you too, because you're biting a fucking coughing. Cool. Man, don't tell you get lost. You're the one who fucking wanted to throw down. Man, people in this world are so rude. <laughs> all right. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series, and I will see you all 
in the next episode where I kill more of these spikers Pokemon. <laughs> Move on. All right. Take it easy, guys.